Professor Caliban Kalouin from Papua New Guinea is adamant that when the Pacific region stands together, we can save 10 million Pacific people from being exposed to the increasing impacts of climate change. While there has been 30 years of research in the Pacific environment, there is still a lot more work to be done. It's a small little island, less than say 30, 10 million people in this Pacific region. Papua New Guinea being 7 million, the rest of the Pacific Islands are 3 million. And so when you look at the issue and so on, the people, the three, 10 million people in the Pacific are most impacted if climate change continues. So we have to do something about it in our, in our own backyard. You have to understand the signs. You understand when is the warming going to come up? When is the sea, sea level is going to rise? So when you go down to the wharf and you see there's a tight gauge, they're measuring the amount of sea level rising every day, every second it's monitoring to the weather office. And the weather. So when you see a tsunami, it will be saying, yes, there's a tsunami coming, and so on. So the signs that we are talking about, we need to understand our region. The world is fine. Everybody's in the same area. However, we need to understand ours, and then we do need to do something about it. Do you want to sit on, you know, Savai and Upolu and feel comfortable? Or do you think you move up the hill on, on, on Upolu, go up the hill further? Or do you think the people in Manono will sit down there because sea levels could change your thing? It will. You know, the coastal protection here system. Those are some of the reasons that you have to fix it. Nobody will come fix it for you. You have to get up and fix it yourself. Professor Kalawin has also urged Pacific governments to step up in addressing challenges of Pacific climate change. The work in the understanding the climate change, linking it to this conference on sustainability, it's important that governments must understand that you can have a disaster, but how do you fix it? And that's a lot of the areas that are going to talk to you about hard, strong signs. It's only a short term. Um, where does the government come in? How do you help? Where do you put? Because a lot of this could be political, but no resources to help it. Climate change is a global issue, but Pacific island nations are the most vulnerable. Professor Callowin is one of the researchers presenting at the second Pi Earn Conference at the National University of Samoa. The conference brings together researchers from around the Pacific universities addressing the challenges of sustainability in the Pacific Islands. Tutuila Farrar reporting for NUS Campus Radio.